everyone, this is Debbie from Project 30 and Mini Albums. I am making some mini albums, but they're not involved. They're ones without a hinge. Um, I, I, not one sheet wonders because I'm using a bunch of paper. I'm using six by six paper pads. I got the idea from Pink Strawberries. She has videos on using up your paper and making some cute little flat mail things. So this was a takeoff on one of her videos. Let me show you what I have. So the first one I made, I used this paper. It's from Jen Hadfield. I had it in my stash for a while. I got it on clearance because it was beautiful. I thought I'd make cards out of it, but it turns out I didn't have any ephemera. So I, I just, it just sat in my stash. Now I ended up, I did make cards out of it and I didn't use ephemera, but before I did that, I used this to play around to make this um, mini album. So the cover, uh, it's five and a half by six. There is a piece of vellum that I cut with a scallop die, cut it about two thirds of the way up. So half is here, half is there. I don't know if you can see the vellum, but it sort of softens the look of our main paper. I did take some of the coordinating paper and cut a strip across added some dark blue for my stash. It wasn't from the collection, but it matched real well. Used a edge punch to make this, glued them together, took a piece of seam binding, glued that on top, circle, a doily die, and a wood heart from my stash. And then just to add a little more interest, I had this die. It was from Birdcage uh, set. I think it was from Sizzix, and I'll show you a little bit more as I go. So that is the cover. Inside, we've got a belly band on the side. I added a couple of banners. This was in my stash. My friend Angela from Tumble and Tangles sent it to me. Uh, this was from another collection. It was from a design team project I made. It was a scrap. And then this is from a Happily Ever After paper pad that I picked up at the Simple Stories outlet store in Utah. So that can go in there. I had this flower shaped uh, paper clip. So I used that. This is plain, so you can add some journaling or add a photo to it. This is from the Little Things collection, same as that bloom thing, and same as that. The colors were fabulous. A uh, hidden paper clip from Angela. And then I had this piece of scrap left over, just fussy cut not fussy cut, just cut the uh, edges to make it look a little more interesting. But that is a nice grouping of paper. So I'll just put that there. And then on this side, it's just a side loading pocket uh, strip of the paper that was from my stash. This is that bird cage die. I put some vellum underneath just to uh, give it a little oomph. There's just a scrap of paper and a cut apart from the Little Things collection. I had this in my stash. I had used dye to, to do it. And then this, so I got out my little Provo Craft Sew Crafty sewing machine and sewed on this. It's actually a little shaker. I've got little hearts inside. I glued one of the birds that matches with the bird cage there uh, and then just sewed around it again to make a shaker that's from the uh, little things collection so is that and that's just a little tag that i cut out so uh, opposing side loading pockets now i've changed the design and made it my own as i got further along into this so here i just made a little pocket i had this really pretty what I thought was a sticker in my stash. It wasn't a sticker, so I had to put it on double-sided tape and fussy cut it out, but I made it with you know, sort of like a library card pocket, but I also just glued it on two sides. So you could put that in, and then this does go in the pocket. And then I had a little file folder die that coordinated. It came from a different collection though. So I just will put that in there. Another side loading pocket, I sewed around this before I glued it down, had a couple of enamel dots, added just some paper from the collection and from that was from my stash. 
This makes a nice journaling card, though. I loved this paper. I just love the graphic detail of it. And then this, again, was from App Happily Ever After, and obviously the colors coordinated. It's sort of muted tones. I made a little pocket here on the bottom. Again, I veered away from Pink Strawberries um, tutorial. This is fabric, and I sewed that onto yellow and then glued that onto this uh, striped paper that came from the Happily Ever After pad. This was from that same collection, the uh, Jen Hadfield one. And then this was just a little folder I made using scraps. And here's a center belly band using that fabric and some uh, the edge punch. Just a label, flower, enamel dot. There's an enamel piece from the Little Things collection. I, no, that was from Wildflowers. And so that goes right like that. And that is my mini album. I did put this on the back. It's sewed piece of that fabric on some paper. So there's number one. Number two, and I'll just flip through a little bit because you can see I used ephemera because this came from the Boho Sunshine. This one I got from Country Craft Creations when I was there in Utah. I picked up the ephemera to coordinate with it. So it's nice to work with ephemera. Just sort of gives some oomph. So there we go. Again, I'm not going to explain it all. You can see the intention of this one is you could put a photo on here, but it was more to send some uh, ephemera so somebody else could use that if they wanted to. Here's a bookmark that was in my stash. I did make a, a envelope out of with my envelope punch board and added a cut apart inside glued some paper there and I just glued this on the bottom so it still can I can slip that in there there's just a file folder adding some more ephemera I mean good vibes that's just that's not my it's not my thing but I mean it was sort of cute just added a strip of paper down there and ephemera here's a, what could be a bookmark or a tag a corner pocket just added some some fun things from the collection and then here I made a pocket I put these in to be used for um, I don't know bookmarks tags for gifts you can add them to your projects and then I added a flap here I made a shaker with some vellum sewed around it, and it also is a top-loading area to put a little folder there. So, as you can see, the sky's the limit. I This one, one, two, three, four, five, six pages. No, this one's five pages, too. You don't want to make them too thick, or else you won't be able to send them in the mail. As it is, I'm sure you'll have to send extra postage because that already looks thicker than a quarter of an inch. So I want to show you how to make one. I am using the Play All Day paper pad from Echo Park. So let me show you how to get started. All right, so I'm using this Play All Day paper pad from Echo Park. It's sort of a girl theme. Play All Day. Um, but I'm going to sort of downplay the girl theme and just go for bright colors and just make something fun. Um, so I've pulled out five papers and, you know, cut them down to so take, when you pull them out of the paper pad, you usually get this, this hole in the top. So I cut them down, taking out the hole. Now you look at these and they all look sort of the same with the white background. So I'm going to decide what I want. This will be my front cover, just because I want the rainbows for the cover, because uh, that'll be the theme. And so this will be the inside front cover. So I want to know what I'm going to use opposite that. My favorite was this butterfly paper, just because of the yellow matching that. So that'll be the next one. And then after that, 
I'm going to have this because this brings out the pink. So that'll be the next one. Then I've got the clouds. So I will have this opposite the clouds. So we have the blue matching. And then this will be the last page. Oh, I really like this pink for the last page. This and then this will go like that. So if I have this, this will match with that. Okay, so that's my order. That is the order. So let's start with our what's going to be the cover page. So again, it's a six by six. And if you don't have paper pads, six by six paper pads, you can just cut down 12 by 12 paper. So first I'm going to start and score this one at half an inch. This is my cover. This is my second page. And what I want to do with this is make a pocket. So I'm going to score this at four inches. And let's just start with that. So here we have our front page. There's our half inch tab. And what I want to do is glue this onto there. So I'll open that, grab my adhesive. I am using uh, Designer Dries Clear glue from the Art Glitter Company. I may refer to it as Art Glitter Glue, even though it has no glitter. All right, now there's two ways for us to do this pocket. We can uh, just glue it at the top and bottom, or we can make little tabs to glue it. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to take this, I'm going to cut it to about an inch, and I'm going to fold it. I could use my scoreboard, but I'm being lazy. So this is two inches. I don't need a full two inches. And that'll that'll do it. I'll keep it towards the front. So I'm going to just glue this with the folded side towards the outside. I'm going to put it towards the edge of the paper. There we go. And then I'll do another one. So put it toward the edge. This is short. It's it's short by about three eighths of an inch, meaning it doesn't go all the way to the fold, but that's okay. And then I'll glue this down. And make a pocket. Now I'm going to do the other pocket the other way, and then I'll show you the difference. And for here, I'm not going to cut a circle out of this. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. All right, so that's page one of the cover and two. Now let's take the next piece. And I'm going to score this at half an inch. Huh, the sun's starting to come through. It's been cloudy all day. It will change that if it gets any brighter, but it's sort of pretty seeing the sun shining through, isn't it? You missed it this morning. The birds were singing like crazy. I am camping in the panhandle of Idaho. It is nice and cool here, and I am enjoying it. All right, so I folded that, obviously, at half an inch, put glue on that, and then I'm going to glue that to the right side, right over the other tab. And I'll burnish that. I'll open that up and burnish it here as well. All right, so now this is our next piece of paper. So I'm going to take this. This is um, yeah, six by six. I'm 
I'm going to cut this down by half an inch. We'll keep that because you never know if you'll use that to decorate. And then I'm going to put this in my scoreboard. So now this is five and a half by six. I'm taking the six inch side, putting it at the top, and I'll score at four. I'm going to take a circle tab, circle punch, and find out where my center is. It's right here, this white. And make a thumb notch. And then I'll fold this down. And then I'm going to take this and score this at half an inch. This is our last page. So I'm not putting in that other pocket first. All right, so what I'm going to do is, so this is our last page. We're, we're skipping page five for this one second. I'll add glue. And put this down, get it at the edge, and burnish. And then I'll open this up. And I want to add this page to here. Sorry, I had to think that through. All right, so we're adding a page to the inside. So here is another piece I'm going to score at half an inch. We fold and burnish on the score line. I promise I'll change the where the sun is coming in. I like how that is against there because I love this dark blue and this sort of pulls it out. You now you see the dark blue flowers. So we're going to glue this on top of this tab. Make sure it's right up against there. And then on this page, we're going to add this piece as a double layer pocket. So I need to punch this. Like that. Now I told you I was going to show you a different way of making pockets. So the last way, this pocket we added the little piece inside that we had folded in half. This one we're just going to make, I call them cheater pockets. We're just going to glue it right on top of here. I'm going to trim this just a little bit because it looks like it's going to be a little bit too big for it. So I'm going to take this and first of all, we'll, we'll take this part and glue it from this uh, score line up and fold that and burnish and then what I want to do is I'm going to add this to here so make sure it doesn't get in the way of the score line that's why I cut a little bit off it's going to go to the bottom so I'm going to need to glue the bottom and the two sides so I will add glue to this side and this side and then the bottom. So now I'll add this onto here, right up against that score line, but not over the score line. And again, if you need to trim it down so it matches, meets up here, you can do that. So I will burnish, make sure this still opens, and it does. And so there we go. So here's our front cover, inside front cover, our first pocket, second page, or the back of the second, front of the third, back of the third. And I like how this coordinates. 
Now, if you don't like this, you could just cover that up with this piece that was left over. And I may. I, I'm i going to continue. Do I want to do that? I wish I had a solid piece of this uh, blue paper. I'm just going to leave it right the way it is for right now. When I decorate the page, then I'll decide. And then there is back of one page and front of another. And now let's decorate. All right, I'm going to start decorating. We'll start with the cover. So I have a piece of paper cut one inch by six. I have this ribbon that I've had in my stash. I swear it's at least 15 years. It's probably longer than 15 years. Uh, it was in a beautiful, colorful rainbow box. I remember seeing it sitting on the shelf, and I figured I can't live without it. But you know what? I haven't used it very much. So I'm going to use it now. I have probably about three or four more colors left. And I, I maybe I'll finish it this year. So this I'll probably use for the top of a tag. Put that over there. I'll fold this down. It's self-adhesive. It's got a little uh, adhesive on the bottom. Okay, so there's that. And now, so on this one I had some blue pom-pom ribbon. So here I have pink, and I am going to grab some double-sided adhesive. Peel off the backing. I need to trim this over here. All right, and then I'm going to carefully stretch this a little bit and have it just so a little bit, I have to re redo that, a little bit of the, um, the flat part of it is sticking out. That's good. And then I'll trim off this at the top. And then I can add that onto the side here. So I will add some glue. And glue there. And put that real close to the spine. Oops, come here, you pom pom. All right, and so there's that. All right, now for this book, I had this little card. I put on some white cardstock. I used my tab punch and put it in there. And, um, just made a little spot for that. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something a little different. First of all, I'm going to take this and glue it onto here. I know I've already got a little piece cut out. This was in my, oh, uh, just my scrap pile. For some reason, I never have enough yellow. So whenever I have yellow, it goes into my scrap pile. Now, my scrap pile is a very small pile. Let me show you in a second. Center that on there. Here's my scrap pile, in case you're interested. I go through and I colorize it every once in a while. It mostly is uh, solid color scraps. As you can tell, I've, it's color coordinated down towards the bottom. The top, I just throw things on. I do have occasional um, scraps from paper collection, but you know, my goal is 
once I've opened up a paper collection, you know, started using a six by six pad or an eight by eight pad or 12 by 12, I try to use it all up. So I don't have that many scraps. All right, now I have a piece of vellum that I'm going to put on here just to add that to the base. I know I'll have about an eighth of an inch, so I'm just going to add glue in the center about a quarter of an inch, and I'm just going to center that with the, the area I have left over. And then I will put this on here. So I'm not going to have a pocket on this little one like I did on the other. Center it that right there. But that vellum adds, it's hard to see on camera, but the vellum adds just, uh, you know, it softens it around the edge. So there is my cover. Okay, this is the inside front cover, front of page one. So I just have a belly band with a piece of ephemera, a cut apart. I have a journaling card and just one of the cut aparts backed on paper. I could back this on, put some more white paper on to make that. Um, in fact, I probably will, but I won't do it for this. And then, well, let me just do this page. So what we have is a belly band with two layers on top. This is, um, let's see seven and a quarter just was a scrap by an inch and three eighths i'm going to score it half an inch and then i want to make sure it's the width of the paper because i don't know if it's exactly six inches i think i might have cut it a little bigger but in any case i'm going to miter this just so you don't see the little tabs here once everything's all put together and then I've got this this is about an inch so this is probably an inch and an eighth I'm going to glue this on top of this pink one it'll go all the way down to the bottom oh so it's bigger than an inch and eighth this is the light pink is probably an inch and a quarter and then that'll go on here yep Of course, you can decorate this however you want. I tend to layer a lot just because when I'm doing mini albums, you know, you usually start with the cardstock, or actually a cardstock mini album. You'll start with the cardstock and go from there. All right, now the fun part is trying to make sure this is straight up and down and even side to side. I think I got that. All right, so now I have this piece that says Hello Sunshine. I'm going to take a corner rounder and I'll round all four corners of this. And this was cut down because I had used part of it for something else. So it's not the exact, probably it was an inch and a half. It's probably an inch and a quarter. But just use it. You know, use what you have. I just made it about an eighth of an inch bigger. I like generally small borders. I don't like cutting things a quarter of an inch bigger because then you've got an eighth on both sides. I would rather just have a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm going to put that there and try to do my best to center it. So that's good. This one, I am just going to double check, make sure this is, yep, square. And just glue this onto here. And then, like I said, later I'll go back and get some additional white cardstock or something to match and put it on the back. Here I'm going to take, I have a, uh, uh, just a corner rounder for the pink piece I'm going to oh, we'll simply use this one it looks like a bat to me 
It's just a scallop. And then for the white one, I'm just going to use the stub. Now you could use the same. You could use stub and stub or uh, whatever you want. I just practice with it. Sometimes I'll take a piece of scrap paper and uh, do the corners and just see what looks best. That's not even. That's better. And that'll go like that. And that'll go in there. And now for this side, so I've got this uh, two cut-aparts, two three-by-four cut-aparts that I didn't cut apart. I just scored it at the center. And then I've got this piece of green dotted paper. So I don't like the fact that we've got something here and something on the back, so I'm going to cover the back. I know that's a little crazy. You don't have to. Before I cut it, I'm going to trim this down a little. And, oh, that's okay. I'll turn that back. I think I didn't like uh, it saying butterfly kisses and little girl dreams because I was trying to keep it from being just all little girl. So now there's that. Now you could add white cardstock inside. So that'll go like that. And then I have this. Be kind. There we go. And I have just a piece of plain bright pink cardstock to pull out the pink in that. Oh, you know what I could have done is round the corners. Let me show you my original one after I glue this down. Added glue to the wrong side. That'll go to the top. I'm going to have it just like that. Um, let me show you the other one, though. So this one, I rounded all four corners and put it on the pink. So you could do it either way you want. All right, let's move on. So the next page... So we've got a couple of tags. I just stuck that there because I wasn't sure if I wanted it. What do you guys think about that? Or is it better like this? I think it's better without it. So this is room for a 2x2 two two or 3x3 three three photo. And I'm going to add other things in this pocket once I'm done, once I know what I have left. This is, I use my envelope punch board, and I'll show you how to do that. And it's got a tag inside. I just left this one open. And we will go ahead and do this. So to start with, you need a piece of six by six paper. And you start at two and five eighths for the first punch. And then score. Put this over, match it up with this little tail piece, punch, and score, punch, score, punch, and score. I'm going to round that top piece. So now we'll fold and burnish. And then I'll glue this down. I glue here. And glue there. And burnish. All right, so now we have this cut apart 
that says just be yourself and I'm going to take my larger this is a two inch circle punch and and that's how I got that other piece that I didn't know what to do but I'm going to just glue this down my idea was to have it so um, you could tuck in the to center this this into here but it really doesn't work so I'm not worried about it that's why I glued it on three sides but it really ultimately doesn't matter so there's that and that will come to my book and I'm going to glue this on when you turn it over it's the right side and the bottom when you turn it the correct way it's the left side and the bottom I'm just going to glue it here and here and then just center it on the pink now this page actually includes this half inch but when you're looking at it your eye doesn't include this half inch piece all right so there's that now okay so I used the Be Kind on this page. I meant to use this one, Be Bright, Be Happy, Be You, because it's got the sunshine on here and there's the sunshine there. No big deal. Nobody knows what I meant to do on this. So we're going to use that. Move this out of the way. First, I'm going to put that onto this bright pink paper. This bright, This paper is brighter and pinker than it should be. And now this I'm going to score on two sides because instead of making a cheater pocket, I'm going to make an actual pocket. Now I didn't cut this. I did cut it two and a half, but I'm going to score it at two and one eighth and then rotate it in two and one eighth because I wanted to have a little bit of a border. So what I'm going to do is miter here, miter up there, and there, fold and burnish, on the score line. So I'm going to have a tab on the bottom and a tab on the right side. So we'll go ahead and add this onto there. See how bright that pink paper is? I mean, it works for this collection in the fact that I don't have like a big expanse of the pink paper. And then we'll glue this down. Just making sure the sides and the bottom are even with the side of the paper. So now it's open. And we can put some tags and things in there. So what do I have to put in there? I've cut... I've got this little tag. Oh, this is what I have for the one. So that'll go there. That. And I'm not showing you all of the details here, but I am making tags with some of the leftover scraps. Just uh, using my tag topper punch or cutting diagonal lines on them, inserting some string through the hole, and just making a bunch of tags. So, you know, the sky is the limit on things you can put in these flat mail books. You know, look through your ephemera and see if you have anything that coordinates. You could make more envelopes. You could make ones made of vellum. You could add coin envelopes if you have anything. File folders, little mini file folders. Just anything will go on these. It's sort of like decorating a, a junk journal or a mini album. Just whatever you have will work. So as I finish adding some of these tags, I'm just going to let you watch and see the process that I go through.
All right, you want to see what I have left? Here's my book. That's cardstock. That's cardstock. That's cardstock. So this will go all in my cardstock scrap pile. And this, this is all I have left. I probably could have used them on tags, but I didn't think of it. So that is what I have left using the Play All Day 6x6 paper pad. It had 24 double-sided papers. So I made two of these books, and I'll do a real quick flip through. This is the one we decorated together. So we've got this belly band. We've got this. We've got this cute little pocket. And don't forget this one. You can put things behind it as well as a tuck spot. This we can put some more goodies on. Here's another belly band. Here's another pocket. I used a couple of the little tags to put in that pocket. Oh, this one I didn't decorate because this one had the extra page. But I'll, I'll uh, maybe put a shaker like I did in one of those first examples. This one, so that's got that. We've got that. So this is the same so far. Then we get to this. And I've got a couple of things in that pocket. A couple more of these two by two cut aparts. And a whole bunch of stuff in these pockets. I just have a, just a three. I was going to use a three by four cut apart on there, but I didn't. So I'll just put cardstock on there that i need to grab something for the tag we've got that and i could have left this open and used that to add these little two by twos to there's another little tag teeny little tag hey <laughs> two pieces that matched were perfect so i just used that and there's the back see i decorated this with just a strip of paper i had some blue paper and then i just glued that there so it would make a cute little happy mail, you know, just send to, I don't know, somebody to brighten their day. You could add a fember in there. You could add notes of encouragement. You could add photos. There's a lot you could do. But the good thing is I used up a six by six paper pad and made two projects out of it. So I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a little... Uh, like these didn't match exactly, but you know what? That's paper crafting. Sometimes things are not exactly the same. 